Hi, I'm a David uh, Faircloth Fine Diamonds, and uh, David's given me a quick lesson in diamonds. Now, this thing that you're looking at here, all right, as he explained to me, this is how diamonds come out of the ground, basically, all right, uh, because they're crystals. Now, in South Africa, there are places where they're actually finding these things on the beach, and there's a beach in South Africa where they're actually strip mining because of volcanic eruptions and volcanic movement push these things to the surface, the ones that aren't being mined. And uh, how a cutter actually cuts into one of these diamonds has a huge effect on what's left of this original part. And then also what you're going to end up seeing in a diamond ring or in a, in a loose diamond. And as you know, uh, David Faircloth has more loose diamonds than anybody else. He's a, a direct diamond merchant, which means he gets a lot of loose diamonds. That's David Faircloth right there, by the way. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm at the castle today. Now, he just brought out two loose diamonds that we're looking at. And even here, um, and use that little tool you had in your hand, uh, point out which of those is the, uh, by weight, the larger one. This is the larger, the heavier diamond. The he it's a heavier diamond. But even on my cheap cell phone, Okay, seriously, you can see, and I'm going to tip it just a little bit, but even on my cheap cell phone, you can see the brilliance of this second diamond, this one right here, and it weighs less than that first one that you pointed out. How much does that second one weigh? It weighs 0.74. Okay, and why is it so brilliant? What's the difference between those two? Well, it's because this, uh, the 0.74 diamond is being cut to maximize light return. Mm -hmm. The physics dictates a certain set of angles in order to maximize the light return. Okay. But uh, as I said before, the most diamonds are cut to save as much weight as possible from the rough diamond. Sure. Because it's very valuable material. Yeah. It, I tell people it's crude analogy. It's like, uh, it's like buying a nice steak. If you, uh, if, you trim, if, you, <laughs> That's right. if you trim the fat off, yep. then uh, you're going to pay more per pound, but you're going to eat everything, mm -hmm. and, uh, assuming there's no bone there. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but, uh, so is this really brilliant one, the one that's just, I mean, even on my cell phone, you can tell. Is that what's considered a heart star that's, diamond? That's one of our heart star diamonds. Okay, uh, and you're the only guys that have the heart star well, that's diamond. Our, yeah, that's our brand. Okay. And uh, these are diamonds that are cut to maximize light return. You won't find a prettier diamond anywhere else. No, I mean, and that's and that's why I keep remarking. I'm going to tilt it up again so it sees the light. That's why I keep remarking. Even though it weighs less, look at how that thing looks. I can't even imagine what that's going to look like in somebody's engagement ring. Now, what else do you have? He's got well, a couple of little packages of loose I, I, diamonds here with him. I've got another diamond I'm going to show you that's a highly touted designer diamond, mm -hmm. okay? A designer diamond? Well, it's a, what's the word? Um, um, it, it's a branded diamond that's uh, okay. advertised by some of the, I won't mention any names, but some of the, <laughs> some of the major uh, chains. Okay. Okay. This way is 0.80. And mm -hmm. it's still a little bit smaller than so the it's 0.74. A, all right, so it's 0 0.80. I still like the uh, heart star one, yeah. quite frankly. I mean, this, uh, I mean, I'm trying to catch as much light as I can in all three of them, but the little bit of light, and you got a lot of light in here. Yeah, the, the heart star still, I mean, it just like pops, right. you know? So this diamond is also, uh, although it's... 0.80, this is 0.74. Mm -hmm. This has still got a smaller diameter or, or very close to this. Yeah. So the diamond is being cut a little too deep in order to save some weight.